Okay, YouTube, if you have a 2.4 liter Ecotec GM engine, I'm gonna make installing a catch can and help you understand why this is so easy and so important. I'm gonna start this video off by saying, the first thing is, if you do not have the upgraded rings in your engine, this is not gonna help you a whole lot. The key to this whole thing is having the upgraded rings put in it. There's a TSB out for having uh, different rings put on that help seal the engine up. If you don't have that and you didn't catch it under warranty, you're either going to need to put the updated piston and ring package in. I believe it's new pistons and rings. If you don't do that, this is not going to help you a ton. But if you caught it under warranty, this will fix the rest of what GM didn't finish. Okay, so super easy. I'll put the parts in the description below. It's got 124,000 miles on it. All you do is buy a different oil cap. You drill a hole in it with a grommet and a PCV valve. This is from like a two liter, 2.2 liter like probe engine. Super easy, like all of this stuff is like $15. Uh, and some vacuum hose and then the $25 catch can from Amazon. And all we did was we teed into the, vac the uh, brake booster vacuum hose with a brass barb, hose clamped it on both sides. So this is what's gonna be pulling the fumes out of the, out of the engine, okay? So this hose, brass barb, just splice it. Brass hose, hose clamp, this surrounds up under the ma manifold. That's gonna be the out of the catch can. And then this hose is what's gonna be pulling the unburned fumes out of the engine. So this hose goes again under the manifold and that goes to the in. So you can see in on the catch can. That is gonna pull the unburned fumes out of the engine. This, this side, which is the side that is tied into the vacuum hose is gonna pull it through and then it's all gonna settle down in here. It's got a dipstick In I change the oil every 5,000 miles on this car and in the winter, the thing will be full. Absolutely, it'll be full to the top. In the summer, like right now, it, it might be uh, a quarter of the way full. We do a lot of uh, a lot of highway driving, um, but also some in town stuff too. Um, seriously, this is the easiest thing. You don't need to pull the manifold off. You can do this whole thing in an hour. So easy. Um, this car has 124,000 miles on it. I've had this on here for a little over a year now. It's been flawless, perfect. Um, but seriously, without the ring and piston update, this is not gonna help you a ton because uh, the problem is so bad that you gotta have that ring update. Um, I hope this helps you guys. I'll put some part numbers in the description for you. If you have any questions, comment below. Thanks guys.